everybody. My name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And we're going to be taking a look at this upcoming episode's um, battles that have just occurred. So um, the first one is going to be a 2v2 between Waxi Yunji and Momo and Yumari. Now, a lot of you have been saying that Waxi and Yunji as a duo is so good and I know I have seen them battle as a duo before so I have some expectations of this this is gonna be wild I cannot wait to watch this this is gonna be great um and yeah enough of me talking let's go ahead and watch it you guys ready fight down both held it down hard goodness this is gonna be a tough one for me to look at okay i'm gonna have to slow this down because waxy and yunji popped off they popped off so good this is their song this is their jam let's see him kill it just seeing that drum that percussion and having her do more of a body roll or waving variation doo -doo 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 -doo, and she broke it up so you know a lot of times with waving it is a lot of times it's very connected you want that fluid motion but what she did is she just created and not really an arm wave but as she kind of ticked her wave up her body not really ticking but very isolated and articulated wave is really what we would call that and that was just so nice and it matched so well and there's just the presence of that was so good and that was just her hitting it, you know, wasn't even choreographed yet. Yeah, and also look at their outfits too. This reminds me of, what was it, the very first episode? The first episode battles, because I remember it, uh, both, they wore this whenever they battled Kirsten. Um, so I don't know if that was one or two, I don't quite remember. It's been such a long journey. <laughs> Two and a three and a four. So what they did is it a one -y and a two -y and a three and a four. So it's like... When you, but you got to see like the speed, the tempo of it, as well as just the cleanliness, something that we've just already seen from them, especially from the dance rank mission, seeing them in the middle, that middle group, right? It's just second to none. Their cleanliness is insane. And they've spent a long time partnering in the battle duos like we have so much footage that we could watch of just them battling so they are very familiar with this type of setup so i just absolutely like they match each other each other's energy which is very important whenever you're going to be paired up and that was a big note that i said during the dance rank mission that a lot of pairs didn't quite have in their favor is they were not matching the energy of each other and because you're looking at both of them not just each individual person that was my note to jam republic specific specifically as well as one million so i think it's this is a great example of really wanting to have everybody on the same page and how you want to engage in that now what's really nice here is they have that really nice pop out moment they are diversifying what we're seeing from them you know so yes we're, they're known as whackers i mean one of them is waxy right like her name has whacking in it right so i think it's really important 
for us to see them in their element, but see the variety that they can bring to the table, which is really nice. Yeah, I will say just that little moment right there, I feel like Waxy really popped off here in comparison to Yoonji. It felt like Yoonji's chest in particular was more subdued, but let's take a little secondary look back just to see if that is in fact the case. That was fine. Yeah, just right there. I don't know if it's because of the clothing or what, but it really feels like just in that little sequence, which, mind you, this is in 0.75. I didn't really catch it in the full speed, so there's something to attest to that. Um, it was just felt like, you know, Waxy's really utilizing her carriage a lot more than Yoonji is here. Um, but the thing is, is they are freaking clean. So all of these poses, and notice that um, Waxy creates a frame for Yoonji, because what's gonna happen is Yoonji's gonna thread her arm through this little pocket here, and then they're both gonna come over here and thread through these little pockets of space that they naturally have, you know, from standing next to each other. Yeah, so that was nice, so she goes and she accents. That was really fun. One of them hits this, you know, really nice variation, and the other one is, kind of dime strobing through not dime stops but strobing into your position it's so nice that they're it's, it's a very they're choosing to take a polyrhythmic approach um as a duo versus one person multitasking their grooves so i really love that and then uh yoonji turns it into more of a controlling session where she's kind of triggering very subtly what waxy's doing there which was really nice and i loved that Oh, just seeing that, just kind of that hinge over and that slow motion speed change and then seeing Waxy compliment on the floor is so, God, they're so preferred. They're so mature in this scene. It's just, it's so nice to watch. It's just, it's world class for watching, you know. And I love that they're just framing each other, you know. I'd say what Waxy's doing is very difficult. You notice kind of, you, she is balancing on her fingers right there. That is crazy. Love that. Just having that kind of, being able to just hold your body weight like that is insane. Of course, you know, she has her foot down, but she is balancing multiple parts of her body while whacking at the same time. So she's taking a great approach. The entire time, they are complimenting each other well here. But you can tell, like, they have some things where they're, they come together and then some things where they're separated and you see themselves, but it feels very much like, um, they're two people, but they're very clean when they do stuff together, but they complement each other whenever they do things separately too. And I, that's a really big kicker, really important thing here. They're just vibing with each other, right? So they're all doing different variations. Uh, Waxy's taking more of an overhead variation approach, and then Yoonji is extending her arms out a little bit more. And watch what Yoonji does. She starts threading through like that. So she's starting to utilize the spaces that Super Kill presents for them. You know, and then Waxy is now creating strikes in between the spaces. And I love Stu Subikil's stoicness in this situation. Yeah. I love that they're hitting that, that bah, 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 posing super fun. Love the transition, really setting up their space. <clears throat> you see, even going, they're going for it, which is really fun to do. They're just vibing it out at the very end. This is just them kind of living it here. But what's nice though is notice that you can just tell how seasoned they are working together as they can just tell, you know what, uh, Waxy was able to notice Yoonji is starting something, let me vibe with it. Because look, they're even matching. This isn't choreographed, this right here at all. You know, this is just them vibing it out with each other. And they framed each other really well. But then, you know, Subakil's like, here we come, which is really nice. Look at that, just how they set it up is so good. Love it. Jump, jump. Now, I'm going to take a note here. Even though this was released today, this variation we saw, we saw the split in the complimentary person at the top from Subakil specifically. I don't know if it was the same girls, Momo and Yumari. Um, very good chance it was um, whenever they were up for elimination against Wooflo in their 2v2. So that's what I feel could have possibly worked against them in their 2v2, maybe, not sure. Um, forget the lights, I don't know what's happening. But uh, yeah, I really feel like this kind of fingerprint that we've already seen at this point this is the first time we're seeing it right but by elimination we may have already we've already seen it right um 
And so I think that's a really important thing to note here is that even like this is such a great star. I absolutely love it. You know, but she's also, you notice she even did some form of waving variation here. Here is very complimentary. They're doing a lot of legato uh, sequence and snakes snaking, which is wonderful. I love that. Love their flow and energy, which is great. Super nice. Yeah, and then just notice oh, I can't I can't remember who is who, and I'm so sorry for that. But just notice that um, my dancer right here, she is she's the one who takes more of the forefront out of the two. So it really appear appears educated guess here that um, Super Kill is not as prepared choreographically for this 2v2, but they interpreted it in a different way. So I really honestly think it's going to be up to preference for the who the judges picked because I don't know who won. I love that. You know, she goes down. Super fun. This is mad impressive. Doom, 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 doom coming up. That is so impressive. And now she's having a moment where she's getting to showcase herself. Super fun. I love that bass, 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 bass using those pop, that popping technique, which is nice. And I know that she's trying to frame her really well, which is really good. But just notice that they, they're hitting certain accents of the music. Like they hit certain accents here and they're kind of giving out what Mana Queen kind of dished to them, which is good. Framed around, super fun. And then I love this. They're just, they just got right in the middle between them. Man, and these girls are like, hey, shoo shoo. Why are you getting close to us? You know? I will say my big note for Super Kill though is theirs doesn't feel as cohesive in complementary towards each other. So I don't know in particular what the judges were looking for in regards to, I don't know, like the, are they looking for a choreographic part? Are they looking for, do they complement each other the entire time? Do they kind of go after their opponent? Do they, you know, I really feel like there's a lot of factors that we're missing here criteria wise and criteria wise, you know, and then she goes back again, like I said, and she, she threads through. So she's dishing out exactly what she got, which I love. Um, yeah. And then she does a simple overhead at the end. That was really fun. Okay. If I were to choose out of the two, both were very strong. Uh, and I think Suba Kill put up one heck of a fight, but I would have to give it to Waxy and Yunji if I saw this first. Now I know they battled twice, so I have no idea what their second battle looks like. I don't know if this one was first or second, but I will say here that when what I particularly enjoyed from both was the fact that their energy matched each other well. However, I would note for myself personally, I really liked the cohesion of it felt very organized and thought through and projected all the way through in a duet form through Mana Queen's side more so than Suba Kill. It felt like they were partnered up. Okay, you're going to go and then I'm going to go and then we're going to do a little something. And then, you know, it didn't feel as planned out, which, you know, Maybe that's what we're looking for here, you know, but we've already seen some crew battles where it was all choreography. So I kind of feel like whether it's freestyle or choreography doesn't really matter in these in these contexts in the criteria. But please let me know if they did talk about what they were looking for specifically. But for me, I would have given it to Mana Queen here. Not by a huge margin. Please note that, really. They, Super Kill really held their own so well. Some of the elements that they did in there were mad impressive. Um, I just will say that the complexity of movement, I would say like creative choices, I think Suba Kill did when it comes to efficiency, complexity of movement, unison, uh, thoughtfulness through the entire set, I think really what's Amanda Queen, but a lot of that stems from just their years of experience, and you can see that here. So that's why I would take a vote there, but honestly, if either one, it wouldn't bother me any, because that, that, that was freaking fire. I loved that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful in some way. And um, if you want to see more of me reacting to Street Woman Fighter Season 2 and Season 1, I'm currently reacting to that, I do have a Patreon that there's about 10 to 15 at this point in time of Street Woman Fighter Season 1, especially footage that is unreleased to YouTube now. 
um, that will be released eventually, just, you know, in a shorter time frame. But if you're impatient, go and check that out. We got the couple tiers for you there. Um, I'm also open to recommendations too. There are tier options for that as well. If there's a particular side of Shrey Woman Fighter that I haven't reacted to that you wanted me to take a look at, that would be a great tier to look at as well. But you really don't have to invest in those if you just want to vibe out, have a good time with whatever release when. Um, but I've really enjoyed the support from everybody so far and I can't wait to keep going and keep watching these and just being inspired by just what everyone's bringing to the table so but i will catch you guys on the flip side bye